Mouse acceleration. What is it? What does it do? Do I need to fix it? Well, the simple answer to that one is if you don't know, you probably don't need the fix. But stick with me here because I'm about to show you why you might still want to fix it and why it's of benefit to gamers. And I will, of course, show you how. Hello there guys and welcome, my name is Shaved Ape and today I'm going to do my best to explain to you what mouse acceleration is and how you can fix it. So let's start with what it is. Acceleration is something that a lot of gamers aren't even aware of and put simply, acceleration increases the speed of your mouse cursor based on the speed you move your mouse. Now it sounds like a good idea, but not for gamers. If you move your mouse from point A to point B, then you'd expect your cursor to do the same thing each time you move the mouse between those two points. With acceleration enabled, that doesn't happen because you'll vary the speed at which you move the mouse between those two points and end up with inconsistent aiming. Okay then, so on to the fix. You will need firstly to go to this website, I will put it in the description, and once there, download the latest fix by Mark. More information on how the fix works and how you can test it, etc. is also there for you, as well as included in the zip, but I'll try to quickly explain it for you anyway. Once you have the fix and you've extracted it, you'll be presented with something like this. You first want to check your text size to see what text size you're running. Now it is important as it will allow you to choose the correct file for the registry fix. I'm running Windows 8.1 and it's under display. Now I'm pretty sure it's under display in Windows 7. It just won't look quite the same. And unfortunately it's been a while since I've used Windows 7. On Windows 8 and 8.1, you will want to check the box that says, let me choose one scaling level for all my displays. Now for more information again on why you'd want to do that, you might want to just check out Mark's blog if it bothers you that much. Chances are it will be checked anyway. Next up, go to your newly extracted files and choose the correct file for your chosen text size. So for me, as you can probably see, it's 100%, which means I want this one. Double click it and click run or allow or whatever it asks you to allow it to happen. Now, of course, I'm not going to double click it because I have already applied the fix. But once you have, you will need to either restart or log off for it to take effect. Once you've done that in the control panel, locate mouse settings or mouse properties and you'll pull up this dialog. Set the slider to the sixth notch and uncheck enhance pointer precision just here. Once done, click apply, then click OK and you're all done. Now if you want to test if it's working, you can use the mouse recorder provided. Information on how to use it is provided in the zip that you downloaded and it's really simple to use. Just make sure all the numbers are equal to each other on the left and the right. Some games will still add acceleration of their own of course and that's something that may require tweaks beyond the scope of this video. Usually, it just requires a config file or changes to the gamer profile, but as I say, that's beyond the scope of this video. And for the most part, you will find this fix is all that you need. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And if I can, I will do my best to help you. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. I've been Shaved Ape. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't done already, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe.